Yo, what's up, people? It's your boy. I'm Christy Dom One, and I am back with another video. I first like to say this. I'm going to apologize first because this is going to be one of those long videos and discussions about Microsoft as a company and the Xbox console itself. Now, before we begin on this topic, I first like to take you guys on a trip how far back way back back to the original og xbox now the original og xbox was loud it was it was very clunky it had a i'm loud and i'm proud type of attitude even with the huge x on top of the consoles a lot of games made their way to this console and a lot of games started their birth on this particular console particularly the halo games the halo games were big and successful on this particular console all right now as far as the og xbox itself it lost its identity with the rest of the world now northern america we love this particular console as far as online gaming. Now, if you wanted a true definition of online gaming, particularly if you had a console, the only way to go was the original Xbox, all right? Now, the PlayStation 2, there were certain games introduced to the market that had some aspects of online gaming. That could be said for the Sega Saturn. But if you wanted a true definition and a true experience with online gaming you had to purchase an original xbox all right now it lost its identity with the rest of the world now what do i mean by that the, J the japan market as well as the uk market the japan market there was really not a lot of games uh with that particular console that japan gamers wanted to buy and play as far as the UK market, it was it was going through growing pains, but ultimately the UK market gravitated to the Xbox brand itself. So when you're talking about this OG Xbox, it stumbled a bit, but you have to give it its props. It started and revolutionized online gaming at a console level. And it also birthed out a lot of games on this console that we're still playing to this uh, to this day. One of those games, for an example, is Halo, all right? Now, let's talk about the Xbox 360. Now, you have to give Microsoft their props when you're talking about marketing and strategizing the Xbox 360. Not only it came out a year earlier than the PS3, but it had a better gaming lineup than the PS3. They also had an exclusive license to Rockstar to have Grand Theft Auto play on the 360 first before the PS3. It was cheaper than the PS3. And like I said earlier, it came out a year earlier than the PS3. Now, Sony had to do a lot of things to make the PS3 affordable to not only catch up with the 360, but to surpass the 360. Now let's talk about the gaming lineup, the best gaming lineup thus far. It, ha it has to be in your top five when you're talking about best gaming lineup for a console. Uh, not, only not only Halo uh, was bigger and better, on the 360, but then you had Gears of War, Fable. Uh, the 360 didn't have an, a, a lot of exclusives when you compare it to the PS3, but they had a lot of exclusives that a lot of Xbox fans and gamers wanted to pick up and buy and had unique experiences with these exclusive games. Now, the third party games looked a lot better on the 360 versus the PS3 due to the fact that the PS3 infrastructure was kind of complex for developers. Now, as far as the popularity of the 360, it was always huge and successful in North America, but it struggled 
not as much as the original OG Xbox, but it did have a hard time convincing g Japanese gamers to cop and buy this particular console. Now, when you're talking about the UK market, the UK market was thrilled with this, with the uh, Xbox 360, because you had certain games embedded and dealed with this console, like FIFA. FIFA was huge and big time in the UK audience, and the execs at Microsoft knew that. So they bundled those particular games that are favorable to the UK market with the Xbox 360, all right? But the Xbox 360 is far and away their best successful console to this day, all right? And like I said earlier, the PS3 ultimately surpassed the 360, but the 360 had a good a window, a good four to five year run uh, with this particular console, okay? Now, last but not least, the Xbox One. And in my opinion, it's a huge disappointment. It was a huge dumpster fire from beginning to motherfucking end. Now, I don't know who was the masterminds over there at Microsoft figuring, hey, you remember how the PS3 was advertised in its early stages? That's what we're going to do with the Xbox One. Make it an all-in-one device. You can play your games, watch your TV show, surf the web, and we even got Connect. Connect is going to be bundled in with every console, as well as the strict policies Microsoft had as far as if you are a gamer, how you're going to be able to play your games, how you're going to be able to trade your games, all right? That was weird in itself, not to mention the fact that Microsoft said it themselves coming out of their mouth that if you want to play on this particular system, Connect had to be embedded with the Xbox One. It was a disappointment from beginning to end. Now, fortunately, Microsoft saw the errors of their way, particularly when the first round of pre-order numbers came in and they saw from themselves that uh, there were more PS4s uh, pre-ordered than the Xbox One. So they had to adapt with the change in time, lift some of those strict policies. Now you're able to uh, play your games and use your console without the Kinect. You know, they did their thing thing. They listened to the consumers. They basically listened to the consumers' wallets at that time. Not to mention, the Xbox One was $100 more than the PlayStation 4, which that in itself is not a good thing, particularly if you are an Xbox fan, all right? Now, Microsoft as a company has been listening to their fan base, their consumer base, and one of the things that they added to the Xbox One is backwards compatibility. Now you can be able to play your 360 games on the Xbox One, which is sort of a plus, you know, in my opinion. Now, a lot of new exclusive titles that uh, they were talking about at E3 two, three years ago, none of those exclusives have panned out. None of those exclusives are on the same level or selling at the same rate as their older lineup, their older Halos, their older Gears of War, the older Forger Motorsports. A lot of these exclusives just did not pan out because one, some of them did just, they just didn't appeal to the core Xbox fans, all right? Not to mention a lot of those new exclusive games that were for the Xbox One, ReCore, a uh, Quantum Break, games like that, none of those games translated into revenue dollars and being a success on the Xbox One. Sure, Gears, they did their numbers, but not the Gears of War back in the day with Cliffy B. Sure, Halo did its numbers, but not the same numbers like when Bungie was developing Halo, okay? 
games like that, they just didn't resonate or shine with this particular console. Not to mention the third party games like the Battlefields, the Call of Duties, the Destinies, games like that. None of those games look better on the Xbox One. They look, they not only look better on the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation Pro, but they even play better and they sell more on the PlayStation 4 than they do on the Xbox One, all right? Which, why I am coming to my final verdict, Microsoft has totally lost its way with the Xbox console, the brand itself, all right? The same people who made the Xbox 360 hugely successful are either no longer there or they do not have a voice or they cannot create input on decisions on where to go with the Xbox One. Now, I know a lot of Xbox gamers are going to get mad what I'm about to say, and that is the Xbox One is a huge failure than the Nintendo Wii U. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna say the Xbox One sold more, Microsoft sold more consoles of the Xbox One than, than Nintendo did with the Wii U. That is true. But when you look at its predecessor and what Xbox stands to console gamers, the two consoles that gamers want to pick up are a PlayStation and an Xbox, all right? It's a huge, colossal failure when you compare it to the Nintendo Wii U. No one wasn't predicting that the Nintendo Wii U was going to sell 170 million consoles. Yes, you may have people in the Nintendo organization that don't have a clue they may say that, but when you talk about analysts, when you talk about people who critique these consoles, the people that are in the video game industry, no one said that the Nintendo Wii U was competition for PlayStation or for the Xbox brand. The Xbox One clearly failed because it just didn't have the people in that organization that can have an input on where they want to go or direct its uh, attention with the Xbox One, all right? They started tripping on their own feet when they introduced this console as an all-in-one device, all right? Sony has tried this song and dance with the PS3. That's why the PS3 started you know, slow out the gate until Sony realized, yo, we need to be game centric with this system, all right? That's why the PS4 is successful than the Xbox One. Yeah, the PS4 can do just the same things as the Xbox One currently can do right now. But when you're talking about the PS4, it's primarily a gaming console, all right? And Microsoft has stepped away out of those shadows and into some waters they have no business being in, all right? And that's why when you're talking about the Xbox Scorpio, the Xbox Scorpio are going to have these same problems in front of it, all right? The Xbox Scorpio is going to be expensive if they want to really do true 4K gaming all right now did digital foundry came out with an article suggesting that the uh xbox scorpio it's going to be on the same par on the same line as a playstation pro so someone at microsoft is finally realizing that you don't have to have the most expensive console to be successful all right but there are more problems with the Xbox Scorpio, just like the Xbox One. Not a lot of exclusive titles. Scalebound has been canceled. That could have been one of those games that could revolutionize the gaming industry. Not to mention, you can have your North American consumer base purchase this game, as well as you can finally get an input in the Japan market. 
that you desperately was trying to do even back with the OG Xbox, okay? Uh, but the same problems that plaguing the Xbox One are going to still be there for the Scorpio. And who's to say in two years, Sony want to release the PlayStation 5? Once again, you're still going to be behind the eight ball and you're still going to be behind developing another console because if Sony comes out with the PlayStation 5 in two years and the Xbox Scorpio has only been on the market for two years and if you try to come out with the Xbox 5 or whatever you want to call it uh, two years from now, uh, your uh, consumer base is going to be real skeptical of you. They're going to feel like you uh, really trying to uh, keep up with the Joneses, sort of say, and just releasing consoles just to keep up with Sony, all right? Uh, Microsoft should have kept it clean, kept it funky, and worry about Microsoft. Don't worry about what Sony's doing over there. You continue making better IPs, uh, making your console better, all right? But as of right now, the same things that are plaguing the Xbox One, they have no answers for them in either to this day. And those problems are going to affect uh, the Xbox Scorpio, all right? Even though I feel like the one good thing about the Xbox Scorpio, good news, it's not going to be expensive. It's going to be $399. But other than that, what games are going to be released for this console? And you talk about the six teraflops, you keep saying that the Scorpio is going to be powerful than the Xbox, I mean, the PlayStation Pro. But when you think about it, there are 60 million PS4s out on the market today. And there's not going to be a developer that's going to make your version look better or more successful than the PlayStation 4 version, all right? It's just that simple. Numbers don't lie. Men lie, women lie, but numbers don't. And 60 million is a lot of of is a lot of homes that have a PS4 versus the 27 million with the Xbox One. But guys, tell me what you think out there. Sorry for the video for being long. Rate, comment, subscribe. Oh yeah, please hit that notification bell. That way, you will be informed when my next video comes up. It's your boy. I'm Chris the Don One, and I am out. Deuces.